So photosynthesis can be thought of in two separate reactions, the light reaction and the Calvin cycle. So both take place in the chloroplast. In the light reaction, light provides the energy to create excited electrons. Those excited electrons then give off their energy and it gets stored in the form of ATP and NADPH, a reduced molecule that stores energy. Then also inside the chloroplast is the Calvin cycle, and that's where the energy in ATP and NADPH is used to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and reduce it. And those reduced carbons are what make sugar, like glucose. So an important connection between the two is that the ATP and the NADPH that's made during the light reaction, that's what provides the energy for the Calvin cycle. Now together these make up photosynthesis, but in this lab we are only focusing on the light reaction and just thinking about those excited electrons as they move through the membranes of the chloroplast. So this is a thylakoid membrane in the chloroplast, and you should recognize some of the uh, proteins that are embedded in here. There's the photosystem 2 and photosystem 1, and then a number of other electron carriers. And remember, a big part of what's going on here is that NADP plus is going to be reduced by electrons. So when the sun is shining, what happens is electrons become excited and they start flowing through this pathway, and eventually they get deposited on NADPH.